My name is uh, Narsimha Reddy Bommaka. I am a certified Scrum trainer with uh, Scrum Alliance. I have been uh, helping uh, organizations, uh, professionals learn and implement Scrum in an effective way from last 10 years. Uh, I guess we would have trained more than 20,000 professionals in that time, uh, helping them use Scrum more effectively. So I want to use this video to help you understand real quick about um, Scrum artifacts. So there are three artifacts in Scrum, you know, they are product backlog, sprint backlog and increment. So let's talk about what are they, right? So product backlog is um, owned by product owner and um, product backlog is a prioritized or I would say more precisely ordered list of features that might be included in your product. And product owner is interacting with the stakeholders on the business side, understand their inputs, their requests, priorities and issues. And using that information given by the stakeholders on the business side, Proper is creating this ordered list with features that would help cater to the business needs. That's why I would say it's a prioritized list or ordered list of features that might get included in your product. And this is a live artifact that can change anytime in the sprint, uh, anytime in the project, uh, you know, it can change throughout the project. So as as the project goes on and Proper is interacting with the stakeholders on the business side, and if required, he can add items from the product backlog or remove or re re reprioritize. That's why I say product backlog is a live artifact and it can change any time in the product. The second artifact we have here is a sprint backlog. Sprint backlog is owned by development team and they are using this to organize their work throughout the sprint. So during sprint planning, uh, which is the first event inside the sprint, a development team is collaborating with the product owner um, and, come, and try to come up with features that they're going to work on in the current sprint which is what is called a sprint goal i would say which is going to help you to achieve the goal or outcome for the business and um, there also sprint backlog also will have tasks that uh, development team need, want to take up in order to achieve that goal so so it has both information on features that the team is taking up in the current sprint to achieve a goal and technical tasks the team might take up uh, in order to achieve that goal or build those features and this is something that can change throughout the sprint whereas the goal is fixed but how the team is going to achieve that goal can change so that's why part of the sprint backlog or sprint backlog can change because the how part of sprint backlog can change um, I mean, it's up to the development team to decide and do whatever is required to achieve the goal which they have built upon with the product owner during sprint plan so that's the second uh, artifact in Scrum. The last one is product increment. Product increment is a prioritized list of, sorry, product increment is a potentially shippable working software that uh, you are creating or development team is creating every sprint. And increment is uh, the integrated product that is built so far, not just what they have uh, done in the current sprint. And uh, so increment is something that is uh, potentially shippable. So something that is ready to go to production. So development will expect to do everything required to make that feature good enough to go to production. Then only you can call that as increment. And you ensure that is happening using what is called as definition of done in Scrum. So the development team uses definition of done and then and using that is ensuring whatever feature they are working on is uh, something that is becoming potentially shippable. And anything that uh, meets the definition of done and is potentially shippable is what is called as product increment um, in Scrum. And as I said, product increment is not just what the team is working on the current sprint, but the integrated product that, you have, that the team has developed so far in the project put together should be meeting the definition of done or should be potentially shippable. I hope uh, this is helpful to get an overview of uh, Scrum artifacts. If you are looking for more information, happy to help. Staragel is doing uh, trainings across different cities in India. Please log into staragel.com for more details. Thank you. See you guys later.